and gentlemen, we are back with Tony Quist. And uh, we're at the Southern California. We're just winging it today. So we're doing what again? We're just winging it today. Well, boops. Love, love it, brother. Love it. <laughs> we're just winging it today. Um, but yeah, we have the, uh, the Hangar 9 OV10 Bronco yet again. And it's just a beautiful model. No one does it better than Tony. Tony's just silky, smooth in those darn controls. I'll tell you what. And the gear's going up. It almost looks like this kitty and this too small for that. Yeah. Those bushes get real big. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going, you don't think that tree is very big. You're thinking about where you're going. You just hear a slight hum of the motors and pulling it. They're just so effortless. Tony's doing this flight on uh, 5,000 million 7, batteries. We have four. 7,000. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, correction. 7,000. I apologize. 7,000. And uh, there's four batteries in there. So this is actually 12S per nacelle. So there's actually four 6S batteries in there. Uh, the plane, I believe, is uh, what, 108 inch, Tony? Correct. Yeah, 108 inch. Uh, e Flight 180 motors. E Flight 180 motors. Zor 2212. Props. Okay, so Zor, the Zor 2212. Yep. Okay. Okay. What she run for ESCs? Like I'm running the ABN 120s. Okay. From Spectrum. It's all. It's, it's all. It's all Horizon products. Yeah, it's all Horizon. Yeah. It's basically called out, basically. You fly the call outs. The 2310 receiver with the AS3000 gyro. Okay. And uh, the uh, Avian 120 speed controls, E Flight 180 for motors. Yep. And everything else is, uh, oh, it's Spectrum 6380s uh, for servos. Wow. For the elevator is the yep. 6320. Okay. Every, everything that's in the manual is in yeah. this airplane. Yeah, you're flying a call out model right here. Yep. And it's just, just a beautiful flying ship. It really is. See how easily that not only is the aircraft powerful enough, but Tony's the pilot that he knows how to you trade off your speed for altitude. He does that pilot stuff. And uh, but the plane is just it's, I can tell that it's just a joy to fly. I, for, I forgot my missiles though. Yeah, that's just they're sitting on the bench. Yeah. It's beautiful. Down there, down there on the deck, doing that forward air controlling mission right there. Look, if, if there's a fire, I don't like this hillside over here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep. On my mark. Little Willie Pete down there, and all hell will break loose shortly thereafter. There's not enough gyro in the world to deal with uh, this wind, though. Yeah. One thing with this plane is the ailerons are not super responsive. Oh, okay. You're not gonna, you're not gonna roll very fast with it. Okay. Is that just because of their scale? It's their it's scale a, size, yeah, right? Exactly, it's all scale. Yeah. It's got all the throw I can get into it. <laughs> and she's still like, well. Yep.
normally I would never use standard servos on yeah. a plane like this, but yeah. that's what they call for, and they work. A10 still use rocket Now these, but these are like super deluxe servos, right? There, as far as their metal gear and all the rest of it, high voltage, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they're high voltage and metal gear, sure. Yeah. But they are not any even close to the super duper servo. Oh, okay, okay. But they seem to be doing the job. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that We're plane. just cruising here about half power. About half power, yeah. okay. Except for on the vertical up lines. Absolutely. And then you go in full, full tilt boogie yeah. at that point, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's just an efficient plane, it really is. It's unique design, unique looking, and boy, does it fly good. Now look at look at Tony pulling up, and basically he was at a s slower yep. horizontal speed, but she has enough run to just haul right on up. We'll go with flaps now and so do some slow flying. Okay. Well, but yeah, I know you don't, but the thing about it is, oh wow. You get, yeah, it's just, man, it's just really slow. Look at that. I backed up so you can see the mountain in relief in the background. It just really slows down. <laughs> Bring it into a, an illegal pass on the runway. That's a uh, little bit of the plane and a little bit of the pilot there as well. So, and a lot of really, wind. really dancing on the knife's edge, and you get aircraft slow like that. But Tony's knows how to read the model, knows how to feel it through the control box. Landing configuration. Nice greaser, as usual. As usual. Look at that. It throttles up. It just, it, it, it just lifts off. Yeah, I, I don't need to see a neighbor again for seven minutes or whatever it's going to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. I mean, look how slow she, was she, flies in the pattern. It's just just amazing actually. Amazing. Slow, stable. OV-10, 180-inch wingspan, beast of a model, the OV-10 Bronco. Thank you, Tony, again very much. All right, we're hanging out with Tony Quist. We're at the uh, Southern California Scale Squadron Warbirds and Classics. This is the 2022 variety. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Blue skies, happy landings, and all the best from Just Wing It. And cheers to the Orange County Modelers Association. Thanks for watching, everyone.